need to get these things on, for Christ's sake. Jesus! Oh, do you want me to give you a hand with that? Mm, thanks. I'll probably take my eye out if I keep trying. <laughs> I, um, seem to have the shakes tonight. Not nervous, are you? We've been doing this for weeks. You'll be fine. Oh, fuck that shit, no. <laughs> nervous? I could do this show standing on my head. Come to think of it. Forget it. I'm just hung over and there's only one way to fix that. Breakfast of champions. Mm. That's better. Want a slug? Mm. You can hold it right there. No, Dusty. Jean Poole does not want a slug. And what the hell are you doing drinking before a show? And hello to you too. Get off my case. I'm just warming up the old vocal cords before I go on. Warming up? To mime songs. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> oh no. I'm not out of my mind at all. Shit. I was just helping Dusty. Shut up, Jean. Don't stick up for her. And while we're at it, what is that thing on your head, oh, Dusty? Oh, this. It's a... It's a wig. It's incredible what they can do with synthetic fibres nowadays. I believe they come in a variety of colours. I know it's a fucking wig, you troll. What I'm asking is, what the fuck is it doing on your head in this show? It's blue, for fuck's sake. Blue? I could have sworn it was mauve blush. That's what the label said. And I think you'll find it's on my head. For my Pat Benatar tribute, you moron! Dusty, no! I had my misgivings about you from the start. I thought to myself, there's something about her that isn't quite right. But Trixie, I said, give the kid a chance. Sure, she's a little rough around the edges, a bit butch, but she'll come good. Pat fucking Benatar! This is a drag club. People want glamour. They want showbiz. Dana Ross, Stryze and Manelli share Celine if we have to. They want to forget their troubles. They don't want to stare at a rag bag dwarf in a blue wig. Rag bag dwarf. Oh, that is so rich coming from you. They want showbiz. No, they want to get off their faces, Trixie, and who can blame them? They want glamour? Yeah, well, maybe you should stop getting around looking like an Easter Island statue with nylon Do hair. Do not push me. Trixie, I don't think she... Oh, shut up. down, Gina, and shut up. Dusty, you have 30 minutes before we open. In 20 minutes, I'm going to walk into this dressing room and if you don't look like Dusty Springfield, you know what? Come on. Hit me with your best shot. You bet I will. It's not easy miming windmills of my mind with a wired jaw. 20 minutes. I think Trixie is looking a little stressed. She really needs to chillax. <laughs> it didn't go overly well, did it? I really wasn't so sure. I guess you're right. Trixie hates my guts. No, oh, it isn't that. She just... Well, she likes her entertainment more traditional. She's about as entertaining as an open casket. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I don't really belong here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't say that. You're a natural. You're unique. Well, I mean, sure, you like to push the envelope. I mean, like that night you went on with eyelashes on your nipples. That was incredibly creative. There's no one like you here. No one. Come on. No, I mean it. You're wild. There is nobody quite like you here. I mean, I've often wondered what someone like you is doing in a place like this. Simple. I need the money. Well, we all do. And sometimes the tips are good. Since we're getting so chummy. How did you get your name, Jean Poole? Oh, well, I'm studying genetics, and I'm specialising in genetics and function structure. And I thought, well, Jean, Jean Poole, Poole, Jean Poole. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Well, aren't you the dark horse, a real mad scientist? Well, not only that, but can you keep a secret? Too late. I already know Trixie's an ugly ball buster. No, not that. I'm straight. Get out of town! Shh. I, I, I need the money. I mean, 
I've always liked musicals. I mean, I was in West Side Story at high school. Oh, I've always wanted to be in show business. But I thought, well, I, I tried being gay, but I'm, I'm a veg guy. Yeah, well, uh, I've got a secret too. What is it? These are real. No! Do you have any idea what would happen if Trixie found oh, out? Oh, fuck the bitch. She's lucky to have us. <laughs> well, you're, you're, your eyelashes. So, Jean Paul, what's your real name? Jared. Jared Ratkoff. And yours, Dusty Buster? Brandine. Rhiannon Abbott. No, I was being serious. Ah, oh, Trixie. That little bitch has just gone too far this time. It's last warning. I mean, a blue wig and fucking Pat Benatar. What's next? A tribute to the musical genius of Lindsay Lohan? Maybe she no, I won't have you or anyone else sticking up for her. This time it's beyond the pale. I'd better go check to see that she's not trying a stilettoed Ugg boot on to wow the crowd. Shit. Okay, Dusty, let's see what you've got. Oh, I, I, was, uh, I was just helping her with her with her lip, lip liner and her belly. And... Oh, fuck it, Trixie. I'm a real woman. And Jared here, well, Jared likes to snack on mutt. Isn't that a riot? I guess that's showbiz. It's true. I love having sex with women. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> you, you freaks. Oh! 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 Oh!